Welcome back. I'm back. We're all back. We're all here. So, let's get started once again. Uh, college football is obviously right around the corner. Once again, you know, another week, you know, another week of games is almost here. It's hard to believe already, but it is what it is. We're here. We're ready. So, let's get it started. Thursday night, SMU has a tough, tough test. Now, that's when it all gets started, of course. You know, they started 6.30 on Thursday night. SMU undefeated. Could head on down into Houston, get the W, stay undefeated. But, you know, Houston has a lot of problems right now. Transfers, players leaving, you know, Dana Holgerson's just not being very good down there. He's being a little bit toxic. But um, if anything goes to show that there, anything can happen in college football, as we already know. So, you know, we're hoping, we're all hoping, waiting um, for, for what the games are going to be for November 2nd, where, where, where they're all going to slot up. Um, this is just for Houston, not for Houston, this is just for SMU's sake. Um, I do believe, as I've said before, that SMU and Memphis will probably be the game that, that everybody's probably going to be watching in prime time on November 2nd. There's no way around it. The rest of the slate that day is not very good. It's not. It's trash. So, hoping, hoping that SMU continues winning. Hate to say it, because I'm a Texas fan, and, well, it's SMU. So, you hope to see that SMU keeps winning. But then we get started with the real nitty-gritty Saturday morning, 11 a.m., big noon kickoff on Fox, of course, you know, that they've been pushing onto us for all season, of course, but Wisconsin, Ohio State, is Wisconsin's defense going to show up? Is the offense going to show up? Are they going to do what they need to do this time around instead of what they did at the end of the game last week and what they did pretty much all the game last week as well? But um, this is Ohio State's first, I'd say this is their one of their next tests anyway. Um, against Wisconsin, you know, these two teams could meet up again, potentially, in the Big Ten Championship, who knows, but Ohio State, they they really haven't shown any signs of weakness, they bulldozed Northwestern, bulldozed Michigan State, they they, they beaten everybody they needed to beat already, so... What in the world is going to happen? I don't know yet. Could Wisconsin, you know, get a win out from under the ashes? I don't know yet. But if Ohio State dominates, it's all over from their chief. Sorry. Can't say nothing else about that. But on the other game that I'll highlight here in this time slot is Oklahoma-Kansas State. Um, well, Kansas State's a pretty good team. You know, they... They they've done they've done some things you know they've lost to Oklahoma State earlier in the season but you know Kansas State I think will be well I don't know I really don't know because I mean Jalen Hurts could just Jalen Hurts in that Oklahoma offense is just absolutely lethal but we'll be keeping an I'll be keeping an eye on this game you know it's the only other game that looks compelling in that time slot so you know it is what it is so. OUK State. That's one I'm going to keep my eye on as well. So, moving on here, down the line, we have LSU Auburn. Oh boy, is this going to be a doozy, baby? It's going to be a doozy. Let me tell you, I mean, Joe Burrow, Bo Nix. Auburn's defense, LSU's defense, if you could say it, if you could call it that. But this is going to be, 
you know, another test for both these teams. Um, Alabama is coming for the both very, very soon. And LSU just has to have a defense that can, you know, keep Bo Nicks contained. Um, same, same thing for Auburn. They got to stop Joe Burrow. They got to stop these speedy receivers from going all over the field and making big plays. You no. Know? And it's going to be one hell of a game, I guarantee you. It's, I mean, I don't know why y'all all complain about CBS's broadcast. They, all these, pretty much every college football game goes four hours. So why are y'all tripping? You know, even with commercials, you know, four-hour games. It's, and, of course, the other game that I'll be keeping an eye on is those doggone Texas Longhorns, of course, because it's the horns, baby. Uh, we're taking on ECU, you know. Really, really not. You know, this is the only other game that I can really think of to highlight. You know, um, obviously there's Penn State, Michigan State as well. It's time slot, and of course I'll give a shout out because game day is going there. North Dakota State, the number one team in FCS, taking on the number three team down there in South Dakota and Brickens, South Dakota, um, South Dakota State Jackrabbits. A one number three matchup in the FCS. So that'll probably be a good game, but you know, it could go either way, you know. But anyway, Texas has to step it up on defense. TCU is kind of a wishy washy team, so you know, I believe we should take your business on offense. The defense has to step up real talk. And I swear, Todd Orlando better be gone at the he, he should have been gone already, but he, he better be gone after the season. This is this is dreadful. And then finally we get into the last slate of games here. Um, there's a there's an Alabama site, and there's a Clemson site as well. You know, they're taking on Boston College, obviously Alabama, without Tua is taking on Arkansas. So but finally here we got Notre Dame taking on Michigan and it Really doesn't matter all that much to Michigan. They it's a big time game, but they have two losses already. Notre Dame has just one to Georgia. But you know, Notre Dame could improve their standing with another win under the lights of the big house. And really, you know, we haven't seen Notre Dame in quite a while, so or at least I haven't. I don't know about y'all. But, but you know, Shea Patterson and Jim Harbaugh, and that, that, that offense just looks dreadful, man. Front defense, uh, for Michigan, front defense is still going to lie. But, you know, Notre Dame, if they exploit everything that they need to exploit, and they get this victory easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But Michigan wants to win. They got to stop Ian Book. They got to stop the run game. Notre Dame has a strong running game. Very strong. They got a lot of, they got a lot of backs. They use the tight end a lot. You know, the Notre Dame's kind of a balanced team and everything like that. And then you know, um, yeah, there is some back twelve at the dark. It's Cal, Utah, and Washington State, Oregon. So, you know, don't be surprised. There's some back twelve at the dark craziness comes up, but honestly, these two games don't matter all that much. Pac-12 is pretty much out of it, um, Sands, Utah, and Oregon. So that's going to do it. That's week nine. Not a lot on the slate for the week. Uh, really, all the big games are just one, two, three, all in a row. And then everything else is just kind of there. Um, and it'll probably be the same thing for November 2nd as well. One, two, three games are all, all the big games are right there right there in front of you for the day. So, Notre Dame, Michigan, Auburn, LSU, Wisconsin, Ohio State, the three biggest matchups of the day. All three of them are going to be great. I can I can, I can, feel it. That's going to do it. See you guys Tuesday. Um, to talk about the NFL recap, and I'm going to be so excited to talk about the NFL recap. And, of course, the next week's preview, because the Cowboys have a bye, baby. Uh, but, Take care, y'all. See ya.